Protests erupted in New Delhi, India after the brutal rape, torture and kidnapping of a five-year-old girl. The suspect, a man in his 20s, allegedly raped the girl repeatedly and inserted foreign objects like candles and bottles into her. The girl also had cuts on her throat and bite marks on her body. The suspect continued to torture and starve the child for two days before a neighbor heard her crying. She was then discovered in a semi-conscious state and taken to the hospital. The suspect allegedly lives in the same building as the girl's family, and that's also where the attack happened. Authorities arrested him, and the public is demanding he get the harshest punishment available if he is found guilty. The girl, who was in critical condition, has been stabilized. She suffered from an infection by the objects inserted into her body. This brutal incident prompted hundreds to protest in front of the New Delhi Police Department, which has taken a lot of criticism for its lax response to sexual assault and rape cases. Whether or not police take crimes against women, particularly sexual assault, and indeed against children, seriously enough. So that, that feeds into the sense that something has to change. It's not only about attitudes to women and girls. The head of the Communist Party of India, Marxist, said the police needs to change their attitude by taking such attacks seriously. And the Prime Minister, who has been criticized for his lack of action on sexual assaults, released a statement calling the act shameful. This child rape comes just days after a 10-year-old girl in the same area who was playing in her front yard was sexually assaulted by a bus driver for hours. And a few months ago, a brutal bus rape attack gained international attention when a physiotherapy student was savagely gang raped and later died from her injuries. According to government figures, a rape occurs every 21 minutes in India, with the number of reported rapes rising in 2011, but conviction rates down 26%. For Newsy, I'm Candace Avilez, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.